Welcome back. We have with us Amy Jenkins, who is the executive director of the Quad City Botanical Center. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're going to talk about the Children's Garden. What is the Children's Garden? The Children's Garden is a new exhibit for the Botanical Center. It is a um, it is a mock-up of the Mississippi River. So we have the River Basin, a Delta, and an Entry Plaza. Well, how long have you guys been working on this project? We've been working on the project. It was in the original plans for the building. So when we opened in 98, a children's garden aspect of the, of the facility was included in those plans. So um, very initial plans uh, prior to 1998. We really started working on it hard and had received some grant funds in 2005 took a hard look at things and decided it may be a good time to wait and uh, not move forward with that, ad advancing that project. But um, then we revisited in 2010, decided it was the right time for us to do some expansion and went ahead and broke ground on the Children's Garden in 2011, so. Awesome, so when will it be ready completely? Okay, well, completely or phase one? So Let's phase, do phase one first. Sure, phase one is the river, the delta, and the entry plaza, and we are doing our opening for that on May 14th. So that's the ribbon cutting and uh, celebration of the Rotary Centennial Entry Plaza. And then the next day it opens to the public. So uh, that is May 15th then for the grand opening for the public then? That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. And so how, if, how can people help out with this? Uh, we have depended on the community for the children's garden from day one. So even in the initial plans when we did the design work for the children's garden, we brought in the community to do um, uh, kind of like group studies or kind of think tanks so that we could make sure that we were pulling together a product that the community would be looking for. So we brought in teachers, we brought in kids and their parents, um, did a lot of brainstorming on what this garden should look like. Um, the design phase uh, got us to where we were ready to break ground and then of course we had our contractors out there for the actual building but now we are to the point where we are ready to plant and so of course volunteers are much needed and, and uh, going to be a great help for us to get ready to plant. This winter has been very long and so we weren't really able to get the plants in the ground as quickly as we would like to but we are ready to start that uh, the last weekend in April up through clear up through the opening on the we're, we were hoping to be done the second weekend in May so uh -huh. um, the other way the community can help we're not done with this project there's it actually will fill up a whole two and a half acre lot when the garden is complete and it will include a, um, a heartland agriculture garden it will include a eagle overlook a upper mississippi river forest an energy garden a storybook garden uh, so this garden is definitely not complete and we have a lot of fundraising to do so certainly we'd be interested in in talking with the community anyone that would be interested in helping us advance the project financially and and help us bring other pieces to the garden and build that out and then of course we definitely need the community to come like that would be great for us um, we have a lot of amazing daily services so uh, just the the ability to come and visit the gardens but now the children's garden will be included in everyone's admission so it's another piece of the full experience of the botanical center and we don't want to lose track of that the gardens whole holistic we want to make sure that when people come to visit they're visiting all of the many different aspects of the botanical garden all right perfect well thank you so much for joining us thank you